Let me turn that up a bit. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Gaming Ultimatum. Welcome back to some more Persona 4 Golden. Last episode, we had to go into TV World to try and go save Yukiko, and we ended up helping GA awaken her persona. In this episode, we're gonna be continuing that. You can hear Nanako calling us from downstairs. There's the phones ringing for us. I was going to deliver it to your house, but this is your chance. I need you to come pick it up. I was getting to that. I'm in front of the gas station at the shopping district. You got that? Hurry up and come pick it up. I uh, guess I'll just tell Dojima. Who called you just now? Don't tell me you're planning on going out this hour. My homeroom teacher needs to see me. Your homeroom teacher wants to see you. You, ju you just transferred here, and you've already done something? No, this is you we're talking about. I understand. Go take your business and hurry back home. I guess this means we get the ability to go wander out at nighttime now. But we don't have as much options. Let's head to the shopping district because that's where he wants to meet us. Oh, you're here sooner than I expected. This is the school jersey I got for you. Go on, take it. There's plenty of different costumes in the, this game to acquire. If you put one on from the equip menu, you can walk through the dungeon in that costume. Now you got it, get the hell out of here. I need to see this girl home. You all the way to your own house, don't you? Yeah. This does mean we can actually visit the velvet room now. Well, not really. <laughs> but we do see some hidden areas like this pub. Uh, welcome. I turned my store to a nightclub once normal business hours over. Have I met you before during the day? Oh, that doesn't matter. This is a nocturnal oasis where adults can escape their daily lives and gather in search of a moment of peace. And I am and I am a butterfly that night, adorned with gems who flutters down to bask in this oasis glow. Everything you see and hear here is only a dream, it is a no no to drag whatever happens here into the light of day. Remember that. Now, I'm sure you understand that this is no place for a child like you. It's time for you to go home. So we need something that catches her attention if we want to actually come here normally. I actually want to check out the shrine real quick. The shrine is developed in darkness, as still as silent as death itself. You feel a chill run down your spine. You feel your courage needs to be at least reliable to set foot in here. So we need to increase our courage. I guess it's the one thing I have to cover. Unlike the other characters, we actually have different things. We have a different statuses. These things will usually lock us out of doing certain things unless we have a certain level. As you can see, we have the basics of everything. Expression, understanding, diligence, courage, and knowledge. But of course we can still see the information for Yosuke, Chie, all that. They don't have a status like us, they just, you know, are fine. Let's return home. You're back. You're home. So what was it? Huh? You were going to jer school Jersey. That's it? You got just giving you that at school. I'm sure you telling you that isn't helping. School's tough enough as it is. Are these incidents going on? Everyone's on edge. Now we can actually go into our room and rest. I wonder how Chia is doing. 
Beats me. Too much stuff happened yesterday. I hope she's back to her usual self. Same here. I hope you... I have to see if you get dick punched again. Oh, she's back. Did you sleep well? Yep. I was out cold until this morning. Oh. Um, thanks for everything yesterday. Hmm? It's kind of embarrassing, you know? You two were right there to see my hidden feelings and all. Don't sweat it. The same thing happened to Yosuke, right? So, what was it like? Huh? Uh, how should I put this? Oh, I nearly forgot. None of that happened when yours awakened, huh? Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Could that be because you've got nothing to hide? I guess so. Oh, so nothing happened for you? I gotta agree that you seem like a pretty open guy. There's a funny air about you. I don't know. I guess that's what draws people to you or something like that. Well, I can't be very charismatic if I... Choose to be. Was that a compliment or? <laughs> yep, it's a compliment. Uh, if you say so. Just make it sure. <laughs> Anyways, what's most important right now is to rescue Yukiko. I'm dead set on coming. Remember, you promised. I know. Don't worry. Oh crap! I still haven't gone to the bathroom. Dumbass. Hey, um, thanks for saving me. Yosuke's cool and all, but there really is something different about you. I feel like you won't let me down. The third arcana we have gained, the chariot arcana. And now Chia can wake up knockdown allies. Yeah, let's just ask her straight up. Okay. I say it's for the investigation. Oh, right. You'll need this from now on, huh? Yep. Exchange your cell numbers. We have to be careful of the fog that sets in after the rain, right? Let's save her before that happens. That's the plan. After a prolonged period of rain, it may become foggy in town. If you don't rescue someone who's disappeared before the day it, it fogs over, the game will end. Keep an eye on the weather report while improving your personas and equipment to be prepared for a rescue attempt. I would say for the rescue attempt, usually make sure you have full HP and SP. Hello and good afternoon all. My name is Mr. Kondo, your PE teacher. But since someone here at this school teaches English, I'll be doubling up my roles. Don't be so disappointed. In fact, I spent some time overseas. Well, make a vacation time to be exact, but that's more than enough to teach a class. <laughs> we'll start with the basics of the basics, the English alphabet. It starts with the letter A, then B, then C, and then 23 more. Maybe that was a little too basic. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you an alphabet related pop quiz then. Let's see. Gamers! The word alphabet comes from the words alpha and what other one? Beta. Good, that's correct! It comes from the first two letters of the Greek alphabet, alpha and beta. By the way, any set of Western European characters in a specific order is called an alphabet. In Japan, when we say alphabet, we're talking about the English alphabet, but it doesn't always mean the English one. As our knowledge increases, and we'll... Certain day, you may spend your time after school however you wish. If it's facilities in town or in school, but remember to enter the TV before the fox sets in to rescue the victim. You may enter the TV from the food court in Juness. Make sure that you have... Prepare by purchasing equipment to ready yourself before entering the TV to rescue people. 
You gotta press the sub menu button to travel between locations. You can enter the number to see what other players have done on the same day and time within the game. I don't recommend really doing that since, well, it just shows you what other people's done, which I will say 99% of the time is good to TV world. There's a couple locations that I think you should check out at all times. Oh anyway, wait, now we can actually explore the school a bit. There's a couple s things you can do here. There is, I think I'm looking for specifically one student. I don't remember exact floor he's on, but... Oh yeah, the funky student. You, you're a second year, right? <laughs> Why did I assume that? Because I know the ways of the world, son. I don't know you, and you're coming up, so it's 50-50 that you're a second year. Detective, detective reasoning, like, whoa, son. Now I, the OG third year, will challenge you to second year young blood with a riddle. And no, it isn't because I'm trying to avoid studying for entrance exams. I'm just doing you a favor here, man. And if you answer correctly, I will present you with a key. I accept your challenge. Your request will have an icon over the heads in color. It's an orbital chain, so let you accept the request. Seek out this icon. As you decide, it can be confirmed on the menu screen. Looks like your spirit is willing. Let's see if your mind can vibe to this real time. I'm adjusting stuff into two distinct categories. At the end, you gotta drop the last item onto the proper guy. Can you dig it? Red groups A, gray groups B. White spin it down for group A. Orange has a group B tattoo. Green's A. For cheesy, pink is group B times infinity. Alright, so which group does black belong to? A or B? I know this. Group A. Oh yeah? So tell me what all those items have in common. Give it to me. Look. They're, they're top six flag colors. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Your mind is a beautiful thing and you are not letting it go to waste. Yo. Way to be. Since you're down with that mixology, you knew that Group A was four of the six most prevalent world flag colors. The other two to round out the top six are blue and yellow. I must say that I wasn't expecting a second year to have such trench insight. The you have passed, and how? And now W, my riddle brother. Here's a little something We get a chess key. Three chess keys. Of course, we can, um, we can enter the roof. Nothing we can really do here for now. For the PC version, you just gotta push F and you can just go where you need to. I sometimes recommend looking around, seeing if you can find anyone with a quest. But there's probably not gonna be anything else in school. Let's head to the Central Province District. Cause we might find some things here after all. First, let's head to the Velvet Room. Should I tell you about how I can offer you my assistance? I can gather a number of the personas you possess and provide you with the ability to fuse them. I have suggested for the creation of powerful personas that may be used to you. If you want to summon a new persona that you have not registered, please try the summon persona option. However, if you register a persona in the compendium, you will be able to summon that persona by selecting check compendium. If you wish to know about the compendium, please ask Margaret. The Persona Compendium registers all of the Personas in your possession and all of their abilities. After registration, the Persona can be summoned with the same abilities as many times as you like. However, the stronger the Persona, the greater the cost of summon it will be. Simply registering a Persona is free of charge. You may also overwrite previously registered Personas as often as you like. Do so however you like. Here we can do something like Izan register the current Izanagi we have. I will now explain how to create new few personas through fusion. There's a variety of methods to fuse personas together. 
A normal sphere is a fusion of two personas. A triangle sphere is just a fusion of three. There are many persona cards that can be used as the basis for fusion. And it's an even an even larger number of fusion results. To try like I said, using multiple personas in a, sing in a fusion always results in a single persona. Do not forget this. Also, a persona created through fusion may gain additional powers depending on the day it is created. Refer to the fusion forecast to help ensure that you your fusion results go as you desire. If you like a more detailed explanation, feel free to ask. Ah, thank you for asking about the fusion forecast. A persona board through fusion can be granted various abilities depending on the day the fusion is performed. The, the results and triggers vary day by day and can be seen in the fusion forecast. This may also th there may also be unexpected results. So I advise you to please remember to check your fusions before you commit. Today there's there's no trigger, but you get bonus stats. Tomorrow we had to have a you have to fuse a person of the magician arcana, and Zeo will be added for free. Anyway, let's try fusion. Immediately we can try and do we can't do any personas that are higher higher level than us. Which nearly every one of them are. Except for F Star Russ. I'll do this just so we have it. Since it could be pretty useful. We can bring for this one we can bring specifically two different skills. This one's a healing type one. So I think I'll bring Zio actually no wait. Back out. Aggie and Secunda. However, we don't have its, you know, arcana, so we're not going to gain any bonuses from it. I am Asphorus. Aphasaurus, I will lend you a power I can offer. We gain some more strength and some more magic. Of course, we're gonna immediately get back our Izanagi. We can change this so that we can only see the personas that we have registered. We'll get back our Izanagi, so we have Zio again. And that'll be all we do for now. At the Velvet Room. Anyway, let's get you some new weaponry. Hey, Daidora, you can sell your materials, create new weapons and armor. Materials are useless just sitting in your inventory. So there's no... Reason not to sell them to Daidara. We get some money out of it, and depending on the material, we can find new items for sale. We can get new items for sale. Her weapon. All right, so I might as well go over all the weapons. Our main protagonist, which for our game is Ultima, uses swords. Specifically, large katanas. Yosuke uses dual wielding knife based weaponry. Che just straight up will kick. And that'll be all we do for now, since it's still pretty expensive. There's one more place I want to actually check out. That's actually the head to the shrine, I'm pretty sure. We couldn't enter here at night, obviously, but we can end here during the day. Okay, I guess it's not available yet. We have to wait a few more days. Anyway, I think 
that's all we're really gonna do on Inova. Let's head to True Ness. And of course, let's head to the food court. Everyone's here, right? We can check the weather report and see what the weather's gonna be like. It looks like we only have maybe four or four days in order to save Yukiko. So it'd be best for us to go now. We can confirm the situation. First Saki Senpai, and now Yukiko san. I never thought we'd get involved in a murder case like this. Don't talk like Yukiko's already dead. I know, I know, calm down. Unfortunately, there's a time limit. You have to save Yukiko san before the fog sets in. Let's Don't worry, we can do this. Here we go. Hey, there you are! Let's play, huh? No time? Oh yeah, that's right! Let's go save the last girl! I'll take you to the yeah. castle! We can rescue the missing victims from here! We'll find shadows while searching for the missing, so it's a good idea to buy better gear and power up personas you earn in battle at the Velvet Room. You, you can recover HP and SP depleted from your battles while shadows by returning to your house and resting, but note that day will progress. After several days of rain, the possibility of fog becomes high. You must rescue the missing before the fog appears or the game will end. Let me know when you're ready, Sensei! So we can hit- This is actually a save point, but we're not gonna really- Actually, yeah, let's use it. It's recommended to save every- before you actually enter the dungeon, just in case, you know, you die. Leave it to me to show the way! Okay, let me show you the way! Ah! Let's enter the dungeon! Alright, take this, okay? We get go homes. If you don't want to waste time walking back to the entrance, use us to teleport back here! Be careful! Hmm. Sensei, can I bother you for a second? The hall here seems pretty different from before, so this place might get pretty tricky. But I'm with you! Don't worry! Don't you worry, Sensei! Leave it to me to show the way! The current sign can be seen on the map in the lower left of the screen. The floor layout changes from floor to floor, so be careful not to get lost. We can send SOS messages and A back and forth among other players currently connected to the internet. If you would like to use this function, please press the rescue request button. I don't think I'm going to really have to use that, so but I can ignore it. And we didn't do it well. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Counting on you. Persona. That's it, Yosuke. Best thing is always aim for the weaknesses. Yosuke pounded an enemy. Though it's also good to just attack if you want to conserve your HP and SP. Shuffle time. Cards have various effects, but drawing a have various effects. But drawing a card with one more will allow you to immediately draw another card immediately. You can only draw one card in your mind, but drawing a one more will grant you the possibility of obtaining more cards. When all cards in your mind are obtained, a special bonus will occur. If you get that chance, be sure to go after. The first one we can get is a one more. One of the cards in the hand will change to a persona card. With this, we can get the magician. We can get the magician arcana, pixie. So it can be pretty useful to, you know, always try and take it more. Obviously, look around for chests. They can contain things like healing items. Simple treasures, some money. I smell three enemies. Don't get careless. Someone else's turn. I, uh, by the way, I almost forgot. Okay, I'll do as you say. Switch over to Izanagi. Persona. Good work, Sensei. That's one so far. 
No one stands in Sensei's way. But that we get shuffle time. We can exchange this for half the money, but we can get two more draws. So we can get a skill card and money up. When all the cards in the mind are in your mind are obtained, a sweet bonus occurs and the fallen bonus can be gained. A shovel time will definitely occur after the next battle. The number of cards you can draw will begin with plus two. A percent the persona card you already have and negate and negative effect cards will transfer into different cards. The sweet bonus is your chance to obtain even more cards. For this, it unfortunately lowers the amount of money we gain. However, we get the skill card Rakukasha. And we still get some money. You did it, Sensei. Well, those we actually leveled up to level six. Let's grab this chest over here. The cameras can be pretty hard to con if you don't know what you're doing, but if you can tr understand it, you'll be able to handle it. Let's try heading all the way down here. There are two enemies. Oh, Hang it's in not there. going down. Persona. We don't actually have to get the weaknesses anymore to get the shovel time, but I'm still gonna do it. It quickly unbattles. We'll get the Justice Arcana for Persona, Angel. We'll increase our money and... We'll increase our luck. Our Persona's luck. And we get the new Persona, Angel. For this we get a revival bead, which is a really useful item since we don't have any revival moves. And even then they will take a lot of SP. You get a vanish ball, I think that allows us to escape a battle for free. I'm guessing this last doorway is either another hallway. Yep, another hallway. Which is guaranteed to lead us to the staircase. I found the stairs! I can lead you there anytime! Once we look at the stairs, we can move on to the next one instantly from the menu access with the sub-menu button. Which is F. We can move to the next one at any time, so... Let's deal with this. I smell two enemies! Beat let's do this, Jiraiya! Oh, he actually got a critical hit! Wow, is Yosuke aiming for some overkill? Someone else's turn. Uh, it got back up! Hurry and beat it! Oh. No one stands That's in Sensei's way! Shovel time! One more. We can change one of these to a Persona card. We already own it, so we'll do the EXP up. Doesn't do much right now, but these cards technically have ranks, and if they continue to go up, the more the effect happens. So you notice how those are like one, one, coin one, all that. Eventually, those will be much higher, and thus give us better effects. Sensei, are you okay? You're not tired. You can use those things I gave you at the entrance to come back. It's tired walking back. We of course can use the go homes to get back. Hmm? I sent someone behind this door. Let's go on through. Yukiko? Yukiko-san, are you alright? Yukiko, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> That's Sir Shadow. Oh my, special guests. I wonder how they'll play into all this. <laughs> Things are really heating up. Okie dokie, I'm going back to hunt for my Prince Charming. Oh, 
Where could he be? This place is huge. It's so exciting, but it makes it so hard to find him. Oh, maybe he's playing hide and seek in the fog. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Let's go further in then, shall we? What the hell is this? You're not Yukiko. Who are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm Yukiko, and Yukiko is me. No! <gasps> Don't tell me. Are you? Yep, that's her shadow, all right. Where's the real Yukiko? What's with these voices? The shadows are getting agitated. Well, I'm off again. <laughs> you better be waiting with bells on, my dear prince. Hey, wait! That clearly wasn't the real Yukiko. As I'm saying, it's her shadow. I think it was. It must have been the other part of herself. So it's just like what happened to us. But I don't think she was excited for nothing. The real Yukiko wants to show us something. I can feel it. It's hard to explain. It seems like she has a strong connection to this castle. This is a lot more dangerous than I thought. Yukiko! Hey! Not again. Damn it, we told her not to run off on her own. Wait up, TA. Don't worry, it doesn't actually separate us. My prince will soon come for me. Watch out for shadows. She has a wild field of vision and will immediately come after you if they notice you. If a shadow attacks you, there is a chance that your enemies will be able to make the first move in combat, so be careful. When a shadow has a fact, you carefully get in close and smack it. A shadow cannot see things directly behind it. If you can approach it from behind and hit it, you will be able to attack first. First, open the chest, and the shadow jumps out. I smell three enemies. Come, Don't get careless. We can deal with these guys. One enemy down. Persona. That's it, Yosuke. One enemy down. Someone else's turn. Uh, it got back up. Hurry and beat it. Ha! You missed. Stands in Sensei's way. Come on! Take and she misses her first shot. Amazing, Sensei! Keep it up! Well, you the guys, so they won't actually enemy. get the opportunity. He's using fire. Do you have any ice moves on us? Not right now, but we can use. Let's try Garu. It was a sit. One enemy left. Come on. Go for a skewer. Someone finish it off. And it runs away. My true strength. Another level for me. Dry, dry, and thus Yosuke has leveled up. And now he learns Sukukaja. Same with Chie, who levels up but doesn't really learn anything new yet. With that, we gain a Snuff Soul, which is a pretty useful item. And we gotta go this way. I smell three enemies! Don't get careless! Use anything on them to check and see if you can get their weaknesses and strengths. They're, we they're strong against wind, so... Let's switch over to Izanagi. Three enemies left! Persona! I'm gonna go with Zio. You're awesome, Finish Sensei! Go, go, go! Go, Sensei! That's you knocked it down! Here we go! It's down! Let's go, partner! Good answer! Whoa! 
Of course it doesn't finish us. Finish it off. Let's have a good shuffle time though. We'll grab this one more to change one into a persona. We'll grab another one to get change one to an arcana. Grab the half money one and get a chest key to get the sweet bonus. We get to have money and we get a chest, but we get a chest key at the same time. Still a pretty good deal, even if it we got less money out of it. Darn it. This time we, the enemy starts off with the advantage. Cleave. Just one enemy left. Yeah, couldn't quite beat it. Okay, let's and go. And for set three, the physical skills were all actually pretty different. There was three difference: bashing, slicing, and piercing. And of course, the shadow jumps out of the box as well. There are two enemies. Hang Someone else's there. turn. You hit its weakness! Nice move, smart partner. move, Sensei! It's down! Good no. answer! All attack! We're gonna heal up after this. We can grab another Ukubaki. Fuck. We'll change one into an arcana. We'll increase luck and energy. And we get another sweet bonus. He's not good luck's increased. He's not his endurance increased. And we get another Ukubak. Oh crap. Chan, you're hurt. Oh yeah. You can use items, of course, in the menu if you want it. Oh yeah, we're using soul drops that Yeah, the snuff soul is actually pretty good since it heals 50. Use your less good items before you actually start using your you know, really good items. And this is what we need the chest keys for, these golden chests. What them? We can unlock it and we can get some and we can get a very powerful item sometimes. For this, we get the power belt. It's an accessory, and it doesn't really do anything. So it's like one. It's just a simple little thing. Oh yeah, I could. Oh yeah, I should also show you this. Um, equipped. You of course have the clothing options. We had the options of wearing the winter Yasuo outfit outfits. We of course have our main items that we're already wearing. But if I want, I can change myself to look a bit different. Like up here, I can put on the jersey. But we'll just stick with the default clothing, which is right now, obviously, the school uniform. Frick, I keep missing. I keep misjudging my distance. Hit the both with Garu. Of course, he misses one finally. I should have expected that. Switch over to Angel. And we'll also use Garu. Way. Oh yeah, Chi is actually weak to fire. 
But it's shuffle time anyway. We'll gather two more so we can get half the EXP, but we'll get the EXP so we can get another sleep bonus! This has our EXP, but then we boost that up a bit. We get with the Dia skill card. And we get some more money. Are you alright, Yo? Oh yeah, Yosuke got pretty injured there. Oh yeah. If you want to, you can also instead use skills, which will use up SP, but will quickly be able to heal your allies. You guys can immediately go up now. You can check out this door first. Crap. Run out of there. It's a it's like a trap. Don't bother with that door. Let's just head back up. Let's just head up. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Amaki Inn today. You must fight this way. If we can help you in any way, please let us know immediately. What's that voice talking about? This place is an inn. It's a totally a castle. There we go. Finally judges the distance correctly. It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. The laughing table. It's That's weak to win. Should we Wait, what? No, just okay. continue attacking it with Garu. You're doing skin. great, Yosuke. Keep going. I'll even attack it with Garu. You're awesome, Sensei. Go, go, go! Someone finish it off! The dizzy status actually makes them stay down longer. It's not going down. Just one enemy left. You already guaranteed the shovel time, but that just made it better. Alright, half the XP. Grab all the other cards, sweet bonus. Angel's endurance increased. Angel's level will be increased. And we will not be discovered by enemies for a while on this floor. And Angel learns her the first light skill we have, Hama. Basically, there are a bunch of different elements in the game, but the gist of it is fire, ice, wind, electric, light, and dark. And of course, physical hits. Since yes, there can be enemies with that are actually weak to physical. Let's look around. This place is fairly large. There we go, we found the stairs. Of course the first one I open is a That's a strong enemy! Don't get hurt! Throw down. Try any with Garu. That's some thick skin. I think if I remember correctly this is weak to lightning, so. One enemy! Fight! Fight! fight. Zio. Let's do an all-out attack! And it... Oh crap. Yosuke's in danger! He needs help! It basically just killed itself. Change one to an Arcana. Sweet bonus! We'll avoid encounters. And we heal our SP and... And we get our HP and SP slightly restored. Che levels up to level 6. Learning Bufu, our first ice skill. And that's it. We get a life stone. Pretty much it. This is too tough. I meant my... Sweet, you'll find it. I'll use my... 
There. We're healed up. I'm gonna move on ahead to the next floor. Where is she? <laughs> I can sense her! She must be on this floor! Well, by any chance are you, my princess? I'm locked up here. Please save me! <laughs> I'm sure my princess can do it. I'm sure they'll be brave- they'll- They'll brave any danger to release me from this one. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> that seems very strange. Be careful. It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Phantom Mage. Persona. He's a twin, so we'll try Zio. Go, Sensei! Nice move, you knocked partner. it down! You hit its weakness! Uh -huh. Is this our chance? We're not doing it! Oh. Let's make sure this is dizzy so it doesn't get up immediately. You're awesome, Sensei. Go, go, go! Ha, couldn't quite beat it. Oh, I, we made both of them Two dizzy. Left. Some thick skin. We're actually running low on SP. Work, Sensei. That's one so far. Come on. Let's see if it has if resistance this at all. Nope. As we have five cards, and we're not going to be able, but we can increase our EXP exponentially, and we'll get a lot of money, and I'll increase my persona's magic. He's not using magic increases. The EXP gain is increased exponentially, and coins increased. He's not getting leveled up to level five, learning its final skill, Tower Kaja. Jaya's Jaya and Dust Yosuke has level gone to level seven. No new skills learned. So Izanagi's basically done now. The door seems to be locked. We're being teleported everywhere. Yeah, that's a strong enemy. You can sneak. That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. The positive king. Someone else's turn. Uh oh, Yosuke. They lowered your offense. We'll attack this, uh... Go, sensei. Right, you you it down. Let's make sure it's... No Alright, we killed it. Way. Yikes, reinforcements! We were nearly done! Come on. Let's try Bufu. Yikes, it's tough! Throw down! Persona! That's it, Yosuke! Go, One enemy me. down! Persona! Make it dizzy. You hit its weakness. Let's try. This. Two enemies. Charge through them. Of course you miss. Uh oh, Yosuke. They lowered your offense. Yikes, it's tough. Two enemies left. And we'll have to use an item. We'll use the soul drop on you. Uh, it got back up! Hurry and beat it! Chie ah! Chan's in danger! Heal her! Chan's really hurting. Heal her. Ravios can heal up Chie. Thank you. Two enemies. Charge <laughs> through them. No one's standing nice in Sensei's move, way. 
And we'll heal ourselves. And of course he runs away. But we still got shuffle time. Okay, well... We're just gonna take the EXP increase. Should I level up to level 7? I think it's specifically this store we had to actually go through. Nope, it's it's a locked one. It's one door that we have to get through. Barely hit it. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Someone else's turn. Two enemies! Charge well, through them! Come on! Try Bufu. Couldn't quite beat it. Someone else's turn. Crap. Chi-chan's in danger! Heal her! We have to use Zeo here and hit. It's down. Here's our chick. Do I think this is as far as we're gonna get right now. We're nearly out of SP, and I don't want to keep using my SP healing items. We'll get some enough, some more XP. We level up to level 8. Another level for me. Yosuke also leveled up to level 8. I think that'll be where I end things for now. You're all limp, Sensei. Don't strain your. Alright. Yeah, we need to just get out of here. Uphead's a pretty hard boss fight. He used to go ho him. You can take the percentage you end and battle and fuse them together at the velvet room. There are many percentages that you can only attain through fusion, so make use of this function. Ultima, what you gonna do? Return to the entrance. And this will be where I end things off. Next time for Son of Four Golden, we're gonna take a we're gonna go back to the real world. And then we're gonna continue trying to save Yukiko. See you guys then.